Miss Keel, um, I went to Society for the Blind and I just learned it there a little bit in my ear and I feel how she do it. And then I said, well, try it here. And then now uh, I just learned it on my own. And from that, it's my profession as a blind person. in my eyes by my baby father when was this it was about um, 20 years ago 20 years ago yeah so how old were you then i was 23 i was no i was 25 years ago i was 23 so 25 years ago and you were 23 then yeah surgery on my eye but honestly I was to go back and do another surgery but I didn't have the money so I have to be like this this is where you're paying for yourself basically not really sometimes I'll go by the supermarket and sell a shopping bag and you know when I get a little ear to do I will just do it but I would like to further my my skill and you know? I would like to further because you know when you're living in the ghetto people doesn't really try to employ anyone from the ghetto first I'm blind yeah. that's what I was just going to get at so the few that employ like the lady sitting in the chair now and trust you with it yeah. um, are they comfortable or the man do very, like very when much. And whenever I do a hair, yeah. another person will pass and say, Wow, blind girl, look right here. Yeah, and then now from then people will like, Wow, and give me a chance that way. But like if you go there and see people, like they will say, A blind girl, do it here. They wouldn't know. And so, so she can't pop my ear to do it or something. But yeah. it's just the trustworthy for a one to really support me. Mm -hmm. I would gratefully appreciate it, you know. Yeah. So now that the whole corona thing and people can't be on the road, you can't go to the local hustling. No. This is, you're glad to say you have this for you know, make a little money on the side. Yes. Alright, do you, do you have any children? Yes. Um, Are they all big? Man and woman. Oh, you might spend for much? myself. How many children you have? Four. Basically, learn to adapt to your situation. Okay, so you are 25 years ago. Yeah. So you just adjust and all of that. Yes, sir. Easy to move around and everything. Well, at times, you know, sometimes a little obstacle come up. We will lick up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll cry, but I go to it only um, trustworthy person who will take me around. Mm -hmm. But I even afraid to use my key. Even worse, since I've heard about even the, the blind girl, the visually impaired girl that they have taken away. Yeah. I'm really afraid to go, <laughs> to go on my own. Mm -hmm. so, but I, I, the best thing I want in life is to really uplift myself, to promote myself bigger than somebody you know, can really see that, that, that you know, blind, yeah. blind people can do things as well. You know, you have a lot of them big on the street. No, I'm not in for that. I rather to, you know, I can give up my number if they want, and they can call me if they honest enough to avoid them here and they pay me. And you know, people are so dishonest in the world. the only 
child. You no, can do, can no, do. no. That's I one can. of the other things I can do. I can sew in. I can also make gift basket. You know, occasionally. I can I can kill in the air, micro braid. I can sew in the ear. I can cream the ear, as in perm in the ear. I can jerry curls the ear. I can do a lot of things in the ear. Holy mm -hmm. stuff. But just to trust me, give me a chance in life and I'll be a better person. I put the oil now, it keep my hand flexible on the ear. Yeah, spin the ear like this to the left and to the right, and then I have it twine like this. To get it, do not pull out when I'm at water. It'll take a little piece back from this side to lock it over here and roll it to the right and the left and just rope the hair. 